All right, just about to get this review on the road and... Oh, hey, SH Burning Godzilla. Who's this? This is my new Expo Burning Godzilla. It just recently came in. Oh, so you're trying to replace me, eh? No, no, no. I just thought this figure would be awesome to pick up because I love the burning suits. Why well, I picked you up to begin with. But you said I was your favorite. And you just might still be, but I just like some variety sometimes, you know? Oh, so you're cheating on me now. Wait, what? I'm leaving. I hear there's a collector down the road that appreciate me. Hey, wait, guys, I'll be right back. Wait, Godzilla, no! I need you! Hey, Rangers, welcome to Super Important Views. My name's Steve, and today I'll be going over the X plus 25 centimeter tall Godzilla 1995. This guy is in the 25 centimeter scale, not the 30 centimeter, like some of the other X plus figures I've reviewed on this channel, where he actually has this nice white packaging. And most of the 25s usually have some kind of see through packaging where you can actually see the figure inside of the box, but doing something new with this release. And also this is the standard version, not the Rick Boy. If this was the Rick Boy, there'd be some kind of Starburst sticker right around here, somewhere around here, to help tell you that it's actually a Rick Boy, while, which what the Rick Boy would be is if I had that version, it would actually be a light up Godzilla, which this guy doesn't have those features just because he's the standard version. I also have to give a shout out to Flossy Gifts because it was my first time ever ordering through those guys, but seeing this guy pop up in my Facebook group and they're like, hey, we got some of these guys in if you want one. And I kind of hopped on it. And I was pretty impressed because I ordered this guy like Friday night. He showed up Wednesday morning, came in really nice, really awesomely packaged, and got him for a really good deal. So thank you again, Flossy Gifts, for that. Definitely recommend you guys go check them out, especially if you guys are into X Plus action figures because they usually have really good deals on them when they actually get them in. But you have to pay attention because they do sell out relatively fast. And I mainly picked this guy just because he's one of my top five favorite suits of all time for the Godzilla films. And I've just been trying to get a few of the X Pluses to go along in my collection to help represent those guys. So without further ado, for the packaging, pretty much already went over it, but just this white package with some black here for the Godzilla and the kanji over here for his name. Not a whole lot else going on here with just some uh, copyright information and whatnot. And then for the rest of the packaging, it's just pretty much uh, Pure whiteness going on here with some uh, Lego mumbo jumbo on the back here and some warning stuff. So let's get this guy opened up out of his cardboard prison. All right, so now we have the Bernie G opened up out of his cardboard prison. First, we're gonna go over his stance, which is overall pretty simplistic, where he's just kind of standing here. His arms are a little bit tucked in, but kind of looks like he's about to slash at you with his one arm. His mouth is in the Halloween position where he's probably doing his iconic roar. And then, for the most part, it's just his tail kind of comes back here and bends down towards the tip here. Which actually, I do like a lot. Looks really nice. Gives his tail a little bit more character, especially when you're looking at it from the front. Still see it towards the back, which is really nice. And overall, not too complex, but also has some really nice characteristics to it. And then going over his closer details, first we're gonna go over his head sculpt, which is probably the worst thing about this entire figure. It's mainly because just the details on his face aren't quite as defined as the rest of his body. Like you notice here from the front, you can kind of start noticing the scales on his face a little bit, but they're not quite as defined as I would really like them to be. Like even looking at the rest of the body here, just looks super pretty in comparison to just what we got on the face here. Like the face scope is a little bit more reminiscent, at least to me, of some of these smaller vinyls, where they got enough detail on it, but not as much as I would really expect out of the X Plus line. Like it still has a really nice mold here where you can see a lot of the creases and stuff for the actual face, which looks really nice, but it's just getting really close to the face. You'll just notice like the nose here is a little bit flat in texture, kind of blends in with everything. Right up here at the brow, a little bit flat. Dorsal spines right up here aren't quite as predominant as I would imagine they should be. Like even looking at it from the back of the head, it's just everything looks a little bit rounded. It doesn't have quite as sharp of edges as I would imagine they should be. But even uh, coming down here for these dorsal spines too, they're very rounded as well. So it could just be the actual suit, but usually what I see on these X Plus figures is they actually have really nice clean edges, while this is just not quite as clean as what I've seen on the more 30 centimeter scale figures that I own. Just grabbing my Monster Arts one just to kind of show you what I'm talking about for the head sculpt for the most part. As you'll see like right up here where you get a lot of very nice clean sharp edges for the dorsal spines here which look very nice on him. And then same with the nose, which overall, even on this guy, kind of bleeds in a little bit as well. So I guess it's not so bad on this guy, but mainly for the facial textures here, would have liked to see them a little bit more predominant. But even on this guy, even though how clean and awesome the skin texture looks, even on this guy, it's fairly similar. What we're getting on this is just at a much larger scale action figure. So overall with the head sculpt, 
It's not bad. Maybe it would just nice if they added some like black eyeliner here or something, just to kind of give it a little bit more of an edge to the eyes. That would have actually really helped the figure pop a lot more. But overall, it's not bad. It's just not as good as I expect out of an X Plus. But then again, like the mouth here looks freaking amazing. Like you even see his nice three rows of teeth for the top portion. Then on the bottom portion, you get the nice two. The ton is painted very nicely in this more flush red pinks and even got some nice gloss going in on there. Looks really nice. And kind of starting to move down the neck here, you'll notice there's a lot of very nice details. Plus we also start getting the translucent plastic here for the actual burning effect, which you'll see a lot of it here on the upper part of the chest, or pretty much the entirety of the chest. Which is, there's another part here too where the skin textures get a little bit flatter here as well compared to the rest of it. Because you notice he has these nice more bubbly scales here for his chest and even on the lower portion of his abdomen. But right here, it kind of flattens a little bit. It's only noticeable if you're really looking for it, but it is there. Arms look very nice too. You get a little bit of a seam line right here, but it actually hides pretty well in this figure personally. Like even over here, isn't quite bothering to me anyways. Hands look very nice, have a lot of very nice textures on the inside. You can see a lot of the creasing for when the actor would be moving his hands inside of the suit. Looks really nice. You can have some nice textures here on the upper part of the hand as well. And moving around to his lower body, has a lot of very nice folds and wrinkles. Because this Godzilla suit is freaking huge. So he just overall a lot of the girth shows up very nicely on this figure here. You can even see a lot of the really nice textures and more of the burning effect here at the upper part of the thighs and then more on the abdomen here and even on some of the folds right here. Looks really good. Even the feet turned out very nice with this. Nice four-toed feet, look awesome. Even has some nice details on the bottom portion of his feet, turned out really nice. And then moving on to the dorsal spines, which I know in my unboxing video, I had a little bit of a complaint because they just looked kind of off color when I got them out of the box under my normal lighting, but after getting them underneath the more set lighting for these reviews, they look really nice. So they have this very nice red auburn color for the tips of the dorsal spines here. And then it has the more blackish charcoal color here on the inside of it. Looks really nice. And then more of the boom white coloring here for the rest of the spines here coming down to the tip of the tail. Now, at least I noticed on mine is some of my paint here for these little spines is a little bit hit and miss. Like up here at the upper part of the head, you'll notice that some of the paint here is just not very well on here as well, which is a little bit of a bummer. Same with coming around to the other side here, it's just very black and then it, you get a little bit more of the color coming down here. Which, it doesn't look bad, it's just something to point out. Because mainly it's just on this side, the colors kind of bleed in together a lot, while on the left hand side, it just shows up a little bit more predominantly with the whiter shade, so it's just a little more noticeable over here. But one thing that is kind of cool in this guy though, looking at the spines, is you'll notice right here where they have the seam line here for how the suit actor gets inside of the suit from what I've noticed. It comes pretty much down the entirety of the back here. You'll even notice it here right on the tail coming to about here is where it stops, which is uh, not quite where you attach the tail on. So I imagine this is actually on purpose, which is really sweet. Even coming around to the other side as well, you'll notice that it goes right up the body here. Overall, I really love this occlusion because it's pretty much shows you where how the suit actor actually gets in because it comes right up here and moves right over to the top, comes right back down the other side. It's just really cool they include these little touches on these figures because they're supposed to be very reminiscent of the actual suit from the film. The only major problem with this guy though that I see is just with some of his details not looking quite as crisp as they do in the actual film, kind of detracts from that overall quality that they're trying to go with with him looking exactly like he did in the film. So personally, if you're gonna be wanting this guy though, I would say you're mainly going to be wanting this guy just because you want a good representation of burning Godzilla in your collection and not because you want a suit accurate Godzilla in your collection because just some of the details aren't quite as defined as the actual suit. But it's still cool that they include these little touches here to actually remind you that this is actually from a film. And then for the rest of the tail here, the details are really nice where you get the nice skin texture here coming along the rest of the tail. Even get the nice soft underbelly of the tail here coming right up to the tip of the tail here right here. Looks amazing. And for some 
some quick comparison. Here we have the X plus 25 centimeter Bernie Godzilla next to one of my other favorite Bernie Godzillas in my collection, the SH Monster Arts version. And here is some other X pluses in my collection with the 1955 Godzilla and the 1962 King Goji. And just to point out with what I was talking about with the head sculpts on the 30 centimeters just looking slightly better than the 25 centimeter version of this Godzilla anyways. Is that just so you can see on the features on his face are just a lot more clean, crisp, and have a lot more defined definition. While on this guy, it's just not quite as impressive as I would like it to be. Even the 95 Godzilla here has a lot of very nice details on his face. Looks very reminiscent of the actual suit from the film. So it's just, in terms of detail, not knocking the 25s because this is the only one I've ever really bought. It's just with uh, this official figure, it's just not quite as good as some of the 30 centimeters that I've gotten. And here's some of the larger Bandai America vinyl figures with the Godzilla from Godzilla x Mechagodzilla and Kiryu. And here it is being dwarfed by the NECA Pacific Rim 18 inch figures with Gypsy Danger and Knifehead. So over the X Plus Burning Godzilla, I think this is actually a fairly nice figure. His details are really nice, minus the head sculpt and some of the dorsal spines, which is where this figure is lacking a little bit. But in terms of an overall package, I still think he's actually a very good figure. I overall love the pose. The scale is actually very nice for him. It's just comparing him to some of my other larger X Plus figures, I would definitely say he's probably the worst out of the three other ones that I own in the larger scale, which is the... Uh, two from Raids Again, and then King Goji. But I would also say that he's my second favorite Burning Godzilla that I have in my collection as of right now, only being slightly edged over the SH Monsters Burning Godzilla, just because of his ties in with me with G-Fest, and he's just slightly better detailed in my opinion. But with this guy being so huge and still having very nice details, he definitely blows pretty much every other Burning Godzilla in my collection out of the water. So if you guys are looking for a large-scale Burning Godzilla to add to your guys' collection today, then I think the x 25 centimeter version is definitely a good option. So what do you guys think? Have you guys picked up this X Plus Burning Godzilla? What's your favorite Burning Godzilla action figure or is Bandai Creations just more your thing? Please let us know in the comments. A little closer picture of this guy on Facebook. If you want to click the link in the description below. Help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button. Subscribe to become a ranger today and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.